Welcome back, NYC Fragrance family. Joe with a review. Now, I know a lot of other reviewers have already done this fragrance, and I'm late to the game, but so be it. I mean, it's, the fragrance is still out there. It's still a relevant fragrance. It's still something that you should probably get your nose on. And it's still in the wheelhouse of most fragrances that I enjoy. The fragrance I'm talking about is Zaharoff Signature Parome. Love that Art Deco design of that bottle. The little slight purplish hue to the juice inside. That sweet spiciness with a classic vibe. This fragrance right here has a lot of reminiscence to some older, old school style fragrances. The really good quality, high quality Fougere fragrances of the past but then took a DNA and upgraded it and brought it into the future. What you get here, you got some nice sweet lavender, clean, fresh cypress, spicy with black pepper. Then you get florals in the mid, smokiness from the oud, and then an incense -y vibe from the frankincense and the myrrh. There's 16 listed notes. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I gave you pretty much the ones that stand out the most. There's a great cardamom note in this fragrance as well. And as you know, cardamom just takes fragrances to another level. So this fragrance right here, each one of the materials was sourced from the best sources in the world that these materials come from. So if you look at the note breakdown, if you go on Zaharoff's website, you'll find the note breakdown and which country and where those notes were sourced. I'll remember to link that below so this way you can go check it out. There's also links on the website where George talks about his journey and how he traveled the world around three times where he sourced, went to the source of where like sandalwood is the best source to get sandalwood and the best source to get oud and the best place to get cardamom and all the notes that he put into this fragrance or had put into this fragrance to make it what it is. It's a real special creation. Now, you know, some people, this is not your style. This is a signature scent, as far as I'm concerned. It's made as a signature scent, pour homme. So it's not considered unisex. Would women try wear it, make an attempt to wear it? I'm sure they will. My thing is, this is definitely a gentleman's fragrance. I don't really see it as unisex, in my opinion. I know we don't see, gen well, we're supposed to not see gender in fragrance, or at least that's the conversation. But I have to say, if I'm gonna wear a fragrance, I tend to gravitate and go back to fragrances like this because I want something just a little more masculine. I, if I'm gonna say something leans feminine and I have to try to pull it off, it's not really a fragrance that I gravitate towards. I'd rather wear something in the fougere realm, woody aromatic, citrus aromatic, something that seems more quote unquote masculine. For me personally, do I have a lot of unisex fragrances? Yes, I do. Do I want to wear them a lot. I don't see myself reaching for them as often. As much as I enjoy them and I think they're beautiful, I don't tend to enjoy the wearings as much as I do when I wear something that speaks to me. This fragrance came out in 2018, so it's only two years that it's been out. You know, it takes back, you know, things from fragrances from the late 80s and the early 90s. And I, like I said, it brings it up to a newer type of a scent. You get the four ounce bottle on the website for $155 and you get the two ounce bottle for $95. So as far as price goes, for the quality of the fragrance you're getting, I think it is a relatively good buy. The price point is good, especially if you're getting a four ounce bottle for $155. You know, how do we look at it? Zaharoff was a designer, but has not been designing clothes as of late. Whether he gets back into that or not, we still don't know. As far as other fragrances coming out from the company, that we do know. He's working on other stuff. He's been working on beard products and things like that. So as far as it being a fragrance that you should go out and try, you can, I believe, get samples still free off the website. All you have to do is register and put your shipping information in, and they'll send you a sample of it so you can check it out, which is great. You know, you're not going to 
going blind by it, you can get yourself a sample first. And for you guys that like these type of fragrances that don't have Zaharoff signature, I think you're going to enjoy this fragrance. I've already gone back to it at least three times myself. Personally, I see it as a nighttime date scent more than a daytime scent, but I think it's versatile where you can wear it nighttime, I would say spring and summer, fall, and then in the winter, colder fall months, you could probably wear it during the day as well. I think it's a, it's got so much richness to it that it'll work in the cold weather and it's most, and then you can wear it during the day. I think that for the hotter weather, the when it's the summertime, the high heat, you might want to wait till it cools down and get a nice breeze at night. I don't see it as a daytime scent. So, I mean, is that a negative? I don't see it as a negative. I mean, especially for me, I have so many fragrances. So if I want to wear a quick freshie during the day in the summer and then put this on at night, if I'm going out, if we ever get to go out again, uh, then that would be the time that I'd wear a fragrance like this. So, new viewers, George Zaharoff, he did his thing with this fragrance, I have to admit. Oh, and before I forget, he did send me the bottle and I was told I did not have to put out a review. But, as always, in my opinion and in my thought process, if something is good enough, I have to share it. So I have the fragrance in the collection. It's a really good fragrance. And I think I need to talk about it and talk to you about it. I, I thank George for sending it to me and not, you know, not wanting me to review it or not putting me on the spot to review it or anything like that or being or asking for a review. I am doing this on my own. So... Again, I'm sharing it with you and I hope that you take some value away from this. I know you've probably, there's other reviewers out there that have talked about it. And so far, anything I've seen is positive reviews and the fragrance deserves the positive reviews. So, new viewers, thank you for stopping by and checking out the channel. New subscribers, thank you for joining the NYC Fragrances family. And my loyal subscribers, the NYC Fragrance family that's been with me from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And until the next time, remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.